वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लर्निंग विद राना व्यूज आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर राना शाह सो वी आर वर्किंग ऑन सी एम एस इन ए प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अपडेटेड डिलेटेड और आवर कैटेगरी एंड ब्रांड एंड नाउ लेट्स मूव टू न्यू मड्यूल ऑन आर कस्टमर सो लेट्स हैव लुक ऑफ आवर So we have categories work have uh, worked on category and brand. Now we will work on a customer. That customer will be linked to a front end uh, with the all the orders, uh, and that will be added into cart. So uh, this is a, a, a back end panel. So we are just only add a customer here, and when we create a front end, uh, definitely we will link that customer to a cart. so um, he can view his payments modes uh, uh, pending orders and cleared order and all that but here we will work on just uh, to add a customer and update a customer it will be required here. so um, let's go to dream weaver and go to uh, project is uh, Let's mm. we have to work on the first header. Come to your add show all pants. So copy this that that box and again here paste it. and just name it customers customers show all customers and it will go to uh, customer controller customer customers controller add new i am not coming here okay just go ahead so i am working on i am working on a project so go inside your room i i will be there go inside okay Okay, let me finish my work. I'm working. Let me finish it. Okay. So customers, my son is choosing to come to in the room. And so, so he has gone. <laughs> he asked me to come into a room. My boy is a very hot environment. Come into a cool. Okay, customers. Customers, save it, and let's have a look. Refresh your page, and we have now a link of customers. Show all customers and add new customer. When we click on, there is a no page, and show all customers. Uh, there is a no because we didn't create a controller yet. Okay. we have did for that we close that header come to your admin create a new file it will be a customer here delete and let me copy some basics and class it's not a point base for this class customer customer extends ci controller function construct 
okay create a function function add underscore new create array data array Title Customer Add Customer Data Ray any this session user data log in Logged in this session user data logged in so this load view that will be a admin mm. Insert customer. Insert cus. And the data. We will send it. Save it. Okay, now create a view file. Admin create new file in that customer in that customer click it and delete and your header which is in the ink under header.php copy it footer and div id main Class full width and full width much long. Okay. 
David, <clears throat> let, let me open any I'm grabbing my uh, all cord. Um, just it will be the same. <clears throat> it will be this remain same in all in all files. So, in that customer. Adding title. Equal title uh, add new customer divide entry separate uh, divided the feedback okay if go this session flash data and and this one is the entry Let's save it and let's have a look. Refresh your page. Customer, when we click on add new, so it's go to add brand, which is the wrong. It must be go to uh, let me open header customers. And it should be add new customers. So refresh one more time. Customer add new customer. So we have on uh, add new customers. Okay, good. Gotta close the header. Now we will create a farm. Action mm, null method. Post and type multipart farm data and Europe farm okay create a div class element close your element first one is the Label for customer name and customer name input field input type text name customer underscore name and id customer underscore name and required it will be required okay, let's have a look so we have a customer name label customer name and field input uh, let me set its class text because we have a css for the class text it will, will be the 100 percent refresh yes customer name and one more thing just give a column So it's good. Okay, I'm pausing now. I will do uh, the remaining uh, input uh, farm elements and will be back as soon. I will explain you in 
a moment so i'm back uh, i have just uh, created for every input field in a uh, div class element so we will delete in a separate div it will be easy mm, so um, we have a customer name customer email customer password customer country and customer city customer mobile number customer address customer image so at the end we have submitted our form and with the name same with a save to us in the button so let's just give you a some thing if we have a label every input field we have will show only in a label email and definitely the email uh, input will be text class text and name customer email that will be the required this is the html authentication uh, because uh, to avoid any empty field so required is the html5 uh, element so we set it to required in the same way customer password a label for customer password and the type will be the password so when we use our we want to take a password from user so we have to set it input type password and customer country will definitely its input type will be text In the same way customer set it input type text and nothing fancy as just simple very simple customer mobile number input type will be text and the same way customer address input type will be text and only the one thing is that will be tricky customer image we use the input type file so when we want to take a image from customer to upload a image so we have to set its type file so that we will take this image file into our controller and every php a php this is a standard so at the end we have a separate div for entry and we have a button submit so when you save it uh, we will it will show you uh, in this way that we have a add new customer form uh, when you in click on save button it will prompt you the all the fields are required when you enter this one and save it so please fill out the field when you click it say please fill out the field when you enter something and again shift to move move to next field please fill out and again when you fill out this please fill out okay let me give something values and a random image any image or file suppose desktop panel logo okay when i click on save so it's go to nothing because we have not set yet and controller method for it but here i want to show something reload recent so um, give some values trans okay click on save now you can see Close that. Mm. Add new. Just click on it, and I want to show something that we have received our data from our farm, and just go to params. Yes. Uh, yes. You can see it. We have received a farm data. Email. And all from the data, so we are fetching, uh, receiving a post data from our farm. 
so in a response there is nothing because we have it will give you a response no response that we have didn't set any response for that so it's a header header post is method is okay and it's generating a request and saving a farm data okay so okay viewers uh, we have uh, just created uh, HTML for our to insert customers. I will see you in a lecture. We will set uh, add a new controller method for in a customer controller. See you take care. Have a good time.